Hi, my name is Lizzie Nordia and I'm the editor of the North Coast Courier. In this week's edition, we bring you two good news stories on our front page. In the first, 234 Nkobongo residents now have running water in their front yards. Resident Molile Zulu relates how for 35 years she would walk down to the stream two kilometers away to collect water. Then with the introduction of standpipes, she shared one with 25 other families. And now for the first time in her life, she has running water in her own front yard. In the second, we look at the urban renewal plans planned for Mtlali and Sharkas Kral. This could mean exciting economic development for these areas, which are in urgent need of renewal. On page two, DOCRA has declared a dispute with Kwadakuzu municipality over the new budget. If province does not intervene, DOCRA says they are prepared to hire lawyers to get a legally enforced review of the budget. On page 3, we look at illegal sand mining, which is continuing to wreak havoc on the Mvoti River. Environmentalists are saying that this is causing irreversible damage and even affecting the piping of water to Kwadakusa. There are many more great good news stories in this week's paper, including the history of the Tonga Daily Market, the Miss Belito finalists, and Belito resident Rod Spencer, who did a 500 km race for charity. You can follow us on social media for daily breaking news.